We are building an AI agent that scrapes anything. Competitor websites, pricing pages. This is really game changing because our AI agents now have access to any real time data on the internet. And all of this is created by just a few prompts. So let's dive in. Okay, so we are going to create a platform that based on a description of a business will come up with very detailed competitor research. We can compare pricing, USP and everything that you might want to know when thinking about building a business. And obviously you have seen the title and this video is all about scraping. So we are going to use Firecrawl and Lovable to create this platform in just a few prompts and I will show you everything from step to step. So let me first show you what we are going to build and how it should work. So the user opens the app, the user describes their business in plain text, will then come up with competitors. So we get URLs of competitors. Then step three is crawl and extract the data. So based on the competitors, we'll crawl their whole website for pricing pages, features about them, the team and the recent blog posts. Then we are going to step four and that is actually the comparison matrix. So we get our advantages, we get the gaps, we get a pricing comparison and a market position. Then in step five, we have an AI analysis report where we we have a strategy, a product gap analysis, content ideas, and growth opportunities. And that is our complete product. So I think we have our scope of our product very clear right now. The next thing that we are going to use is Firecrawl, and that is right here. Firecrawl is a web scraper purely made for large language models. As you can see here, we can scrape, we can search, we have a map, and we can also crawl. And we are going to use a few of these functionalities throughout the app to make sure that the research of the AI is of high quality. So I already prepared a prompt for this, and it is in the built loop library as you can see here you can copy paste it directly let me very shortly get you through it we have a core concept we have a design and branding we obviously want to make this user based we have some tables that we want in here we have a landing page we can sign up log in we have a dashboard and then we have the main content so I already explained the flow in this diagram right here so I will not get into details but we got this prompt and we can now very shortly just copy paste it go to lovable paste it and run it if you want to see it in more detail check it out in the build loop library for now let's see what the first version comes up with because that will already make a lot of things clear so let's run this one very quickly there is one thing i want to ask you please like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video it really means a lot to me and i will make sure that you can create the best ai systems out there okay perfect so we got our landing page analyze your competitors in minutes we can start a free analysis this is already looking pretty good it's pretty basic but for now it is obviously not about making a very good landing page let's start the free analysis we can sign up perfect and we are in so we can now click on create a new project we can have our business name our business description our industry and then it will find our competitors so I think what we should now just do is test it out see how far we come within one prompt and based on that iterate on what is needed so let's fill this in with they do so what we do is the following we do cold outreach emails for our users, it will come up with a very personal cold email. It costs around $80 for 3000 emails sent. We have our industry, so that is SaaS, and we can now click on next, find competitors. Okay, let's create it. Okay, so we can now click on view analysis and we have project not found. Okay, so this is our first bug that we run into and from here we'll build out the app. So let's go to cloud. Let's check the edge function so we understand what Lovable already did and what we still need to implement. And as you can see here, it did not implement any functions yet. So that's the next thing that we want to do. Let's check for the tables so it has all the tables. It is correctly storing the projects. But let's now make sure that we'll implement every step so we get our competitor analysis. And now I will just very simply explain what we want to change. So after we created a project, it was actually not doing anything. So we created one, but it did not scrape any competitors. So we should really make sure to fix this. We want to use Firecrawl for this. And I will also give you some documentation so you really understand how to work with Firecrawl. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we get the correct documentation from here. So we have the Firecrawl documentation right here and we have the standard features. We can scrape a website, we can search, we can map out and we can crawl. And we first want to use our search functionality to actually search for competitors. And then once we have these results, we will actually start crawling their websites. 
So for now, let's only implement the search feature. We can copy the page, we can go back to Lovable and paste it right here. Let's run this and then see if we can already start searching for competitors. And right now it is asking us to give our Firecrawl API key. So we go to Firecrawl, we can go to our dashboard. You can then go to API keys, create one, say competitors, let's create it. We can copy it, we can go back to Lovable, we can provide it. And this is how you add API keys in a safe way to Lovable. Let's submit it. Okay, perfect. So it has added the search and we can now very simply create a new project, give it they do too. We can paste the description, click on SaaS and click on find competitors. Okay, perfect. So it found one competitor that was Grow Me Organic. And if we click on this, we can see that it is pretty much doing the exact same cold emailing software. So we scrape LinkedIn profiles and okay, this is already looking pretty good. I only don't like that we have one result. I think it's way better to have three different competitors right here. So we'll just very simply ask Lovable to change this. So right now when finding competitors, we only come up with one competitor. I don't think this is really something that we want. We want to make sure that we get three competitors. So please make sure that instead of getting one competitor, get three. Okay, perfect. Let's test it out one more time. So we get Grow Me Organic also new compliance and Helios. So let's check them out. And as you can see here, this has nothing to do with what we are looking for. So we need to make sure that the results from Firecrawl are a bit better. So what we do is, hey, so we got a few results where the first one is indeed a competitor, but the other ones are not even near competitors. They are completely different businesses. So I really think that we should enhance the search for this and really make sure that every business that we get is indeed for sure a competitor. We'll then give some examples by just copying this one and pasting it. Okay, perfect, let's test it out one more time. Okay, perfect, let's check them out. Okay, so we got this one, find leads, automate outreach, perfect. This is exactly what they do does. Let's check this one, overlook.com, awesome. Also the exact same, Drippify, also for outbound. Okay, so the quality of the competitors are already really high right now. Let's review and create. Let's create a project. And right now we can go on with the next step. And that's actually, we want to crawl all those websites and make the analysis. So as you can see here, we are really doing this in phases. We don't actually put in one prompt and the complete SaaS just rolls out. No, it is really an iterative process and we can come really far with a first good prompt, but then it's up to us to make sure to iterate where needed. Okay, perfect. So we now got the correct competitors, but now when we click on a project, we are not seeing anything. It should open up the project, show the competitors. And then if we click on a button, it should start with actual crawling of the websites and come up with an analysis, check everything that is interesting about them, and then come up with basically a board view of how they differ from what we are offering. So we'll then go back to our fire crawl and then click on crawl and copy page. We then go back to Lovable and paste it and run it. Okay, so it has completed. We can now click on view analysis. We have our competitors right here and we have the analysis tab. It has not started yet, so we can now click on start analysis, but I already like this interface. It is really cool. It shows pending right here. And when we go to cloud, we can see that we have our edge functions right here. So we search for competitors, we crawl competitors and we generate an analysis. So let's start it and see if it is already working. If we now want to see what is happening, we can go to cloud. We can click on crawl competitors, go to few logs. And as you can see, it is working. We have a field request right here. Let's not actually look at the results if something is already done. Okay, so we got a field to fetch. We can now go back to our edge function. Let's refresh this one. So we really don't have an error right here, only this one. So let's copy it and basically now explain to Lovable everything that we saw so it can understand what happened. So we started analyzing our competitors, so crawling their websites, but it did not do anything. We got a field to fetch. Also, when we check our logs, a lot of things are going correctly, but we got one error. So please look into this, make sure that we follow documentation and that we are using Firecrawl in the correct way. Let's add this, let's run it. Okay, so it adjusts something. Let's now start the analysis one more time and see if it is now working. We can go to edge functions once more, go to crawl, few logs, 
Perfect, so it has started. We are now first crawling Drippify and from there get every competitor and crawl them. So we can go to our fire crawl as well and if we refresh this page, we can see that it is already crawling over loop. We can go back right here. Okay, perfect, so it is saying all crawls completed. It is now generating an analysis. We can go back and right here in the generate analysis function, we can view the logs once again and it has created an analysis. Perfect, so everything was completed. We can now click on analysis and right here, we have our comparison metrics and our AI analysis. And we can see right now that it is a very large text, which is not reading that nice. And obviously our USP is that we want to create this very insightful and basically compare everything in some kind of nice interface. So what we'll do is we'll just very simply ask Lovable to fix this. Hey, so everything is going pretty well right now. We got our analysis, but the only thing is that I now want to be able to, based on our competitors, come up with a very visual overview of what they're doing, what their pricing is, how it compares to our own business and make this just something very insightful. Right now it is a very large text, which I don't really like. It is not so clear what the big difference is between those competitors and my business. And I think we should use a structured output to really fill some kind of board view or something very visual with colors that show where we are doing better or things that we need to look at. Okay, perfect. We can now click on regenerate analysis and let's see if it understands what we want to create here. So let's click it. Okay, nice. So we got our advantages we have our competitive gaps and our opportunities. So what are our advantages? So we have more personalized emails, we are cost effective, and we are directly addressing the challenge of creating highly personalized outreach at scale. So we have a lack of multi-channel outreach, which is a very good point. We have no explicit mentions of CRM integrations and a limited pricing tiers. We have some opportunities. We have a market analysis summary and right here, what our competitors are doing. So we have a pricing strategy. It is subscription based. We have a target market and we can very simply compare everything against our business. So this is really amazing. There is a lot of value in this. Obviously, this is an example of what we can make with Lovable using Firecrawl. And I really like this. If you think this is a good idea, let me know in the comments. I can actually make this even better and then actually launch this as a real tool because I think there is something here, especially after fine tuning where needed. So really nice, try it out for yourself. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching this complete video. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It really helps me. And a lot of more videos like this are in the pipeline. So I will see you in my next video.